In a previous video, I covered how to use Midjourney's new Omni Reference feature to create consistent characters and elements across multiple images. But can you use it to generate multiple consistent characters? In this video, I'll walk you through how to use the OREF feature to maintain visual consistency across more than one character, even as you change their poses, environments, or interactions. Let's get into it. First, you'll need a base image, a single picture that includes all the characters you want to use as a reference. This image will serve as the visual anchor for every future variation. Since Midjourney currently supports only one image with the OREF parameter, you'll either need to generate an image that features all your characters together or create a composite by combining individual character images using an image editor like Canva. I used this image from Pixabay, and as you can see, the results weren't great. The women looked nothing like the reference, and while the man was a bit closer, it still wasn't an accurate match. Even adjusting the Omni weight didn't make much of a difference. That brings me to an important tip. Always include a detailed description of each character in your prompts. You can reuse the same descriptions you originally used to generate the characters, or upload the images to ChatGPT and ask it to describe the characters, focusing specifically on physical features and clothing. This extra context helps Midjourney stick to your character design more reliably. When I included a detailed description of both characters in the prompt, the results improved noticeably, though it was still somewhat hit or miss. I got good results with this image too. The man's physical features were more consistently preserved, but the clothing for both the man and the woman remained consistent across generations. The art styles did vary somewhat, likely because the woman's reference image had a more airbrushed, semi-realistic look compared to the man's, and that stylistic difference carried over into some of the outputs. I had a hard time getting a consistent look, especially for the woman in this example, even with a detailed character description. None of the generated women really resembled the reference. To try to fix this, I enlarged her image in Canva to make her face more prominent, but that didn't help either. Another issue I ran into was the frequent appearance of split-screen style images. I suspect this happened because the backgrounds of the reference images were very different from each other. Prompt structure also seems to play a role. In one attempt, I prompted the man first and described him walking next to the woman, which often resulted in a split look. But when I changed the wording to a man and woman walking together, the split screen issue disappeared. Increasing the Omni weight also seemed to cause the characters to appear side by side, almost like two separate frames. In the end, one of the most effective ways to get consistent results is to make sure your reference image has a consistent or at least visually matching background. Even if you remove the backgrounds of your character images in an editor like Canva, Midjourney may still interpret subtle visual cues from the original image, such as lighting, shadows, or contrast differences. As demonstrated in this example, I removed the backgrounds of the character images in Canva, but Midjourney still generated results where the characters appeared in noticeably different backgrounds. This likely happened because it retained and responded to the visual differences between each character, even with a neutral or transparent background, especially when using higher omni weights, like 400 or above. At higher weights, Midjourney is more strict about preserving everything from the reference image, not just faces and outfits, but also implied lighting and spatial separation. That said, prompting plays a huge role too. I was finally able to resolve the background inconsistency by specifying in the prompt that the characters were looking at each other. This gave Midjourney clear context that they were meant to be part of the same scene, interacting with one another, forcing it to unify the background accordingly. Or you could just generate the characters together in a single Midjourney image instead of creating a composite from separate sources. This ensures that the lighting, art style, and environment are consistent from the beginning, reducing the chance of visual mismatch when that image is used as a reference. Overall, I'd consider this example a failure due to the woman's inconsistent appearance compared to the reference image. The man, in my opinion, looked much more consistent throughout. I started to wonder if something about the woman's image was causing the issue, so I replaced her with the woman I used in my first Omni reference video, the one that produced good results. I also updated the prompt with her character description, and the improvement was immediate. It might be because the first woman has softer, more subtle features, 
while the second woman's features are more bold and striking, like her large blue eyes, prominent freckles, and defined lips. That said, I was able to get consistent images of the woman when generating her by herself. I thought it would be interesting to create some new images using characters from my previous videos on consistent character generation. You might not remember, but the girl was originally created in ChatGPT using the Dolly 3 consistent character GPT while the boy was created in Mid Journey. This time, I wanted to maintain not just the look of the characters, but their clothing as well. To do that, I created a composite image showing both characters in full body poses. In my first attempt, I prompted a scene where they were playing basketball together. The girl looked fairly close to the reference except her skin color, but the boy looked completely different. Even his race had changed. That's when I realized I hadn't included his race in the prompt. After updating it, the results improved slightly, but only one of the three images really resembled both characters accurately. Next, I increased the Omni weight to 400, and that made a big difference in character consistency. However, I noticed that the girl had her hands in her pockets in almost every image. The higher Omni weight seemed to reinforce not just her appearance, but her pose too, at least in that scene. To fix this, I revised the prompt to include a specific description of what her arms and hands were doing, and that led to much better results. Looking back, starting with a reference image of her facing forward with her hands visible might have helped, but aside from this case, I've gotten good results without it. Another tip, when you're creating consistent characters, you'll likely need to experiment with the reference weight. In my experience, values between 100 and 400 tend to work best. Here are a few more images featuring both characters together. Notice that the girl's hair has a white tint at the ends and between some of the curls. This is due to the original image, which had a light tint at the tips of her hair. Sometimes, you'll run into a prompt or image that just doesn't work, no matter what you try. In these examples, I attempted to have the characters running through a dusty ravine or canyon, but I couldn't get a clean result. Something was always off. Either one character looked consistent while the other didn't, or there were issues with the clothing, like the girl's pants being unnaturally high, or their shoes showing signs of style transference from the other character. Even adjusting the Omni weight didn't fix it. If you run into this kind of problem, one trick you can try, suggested by one of my viewers, is to use the same image you're using for the Omni reference as an image reference as well. This can sometimes reinforce the characters even more, as you can see in these results. However, there's a trade-off. Using an image reference also reinforces their poses and facial expressions. So if you want more variation in their movement, expressions, or positioning, you'll need to lower the image weight. In version 7, image weight accepts values from 0 to 3. The higher the number, the more influence the image has over the result. In this case, I lowered the image weight to 0.3. That gave me a bit more flexibility, though it did reduce character consistency slightly. I found that at 0.2, the consistency dropped even more. So, I bumped the Omni strength up to 400 while keeping the image weight at 0.3, and updated the prompt to include different facial expressions and arm movements while running. Two of the final images came out great, but then there's the third one, which randomly included a third character. Not sure why that happened, but hey, this is AI. Sometimes it just does its own thing. Here's another example that turned out really well. Sometimes it's better not to use an image reference at all. In this example where I tried to have them riding their bikes, I actually got better results using only the Omni reference. Up to this point, the results have been mostly good, but what happens when we increase the number of characters to three or more? To test this, I used three of the Pirate Kid images from a previous tutorial on creating multiple consistent characters in ChatGPT. I also reused their character descriptions from that video. The results were surprisingly good. While not every image was perfect, I was able to get at least two usable results from each generation. That said, there were still some inconsistencies, like slight variations in their clothing. Then I tried adding a fourth character, Pirate Paul, and things didn't go as well. There was a lot of style transference along with missing or duplicated characters, and out of many generations, I only ended up with two semi-usable images. All of the pirate images I had been using were originally created in other generators like ChatGPT or Design. That made me wonder, 
Would I get better results if I used a mid-journey generated image instead? So, I recreated the characters in mid-journey using the same prompt and used that image as the Omni reference. The results were pretty much the same as before, a mix of good and not so good images. Now compare those results with chat GPTs. I was able to generate four consistent characters across multiple scenes, which suggests that ChatGPT currently handles multiple consistent characters more reliably than Midjourney. Next, I wanted to see if Midjourney could create consistent animals, and it actually did a good job with this image of three dogs, even without including a description. However, it seems like the good results came from simply pasting the animals onto new backgrounds, rather than truly reinterpreting them. As a result, it was difficult to get variation in their poses or expressions. Lastly, if you have an image you really like, but there's a small detail that's off, you can easily fix it using the image editor. For example, in this image, everything looks great, except the boy's eyes are green when they should be brown. To fix it, I just click on the image and select Edit. Since I want to change his eye color, I'll use the erase tool to brush over his eyes, making sure to adjust the brush size for precision. Then I prompt for brown eyes instead. Midjourney generates four variations, and I think the last one looks the best. If I'm happy with it, I can upscale it to the gallery. Unfortunately, the Omni reference feature still isn't supported in the image editor. After generating a lot of images, here's what I've learned. Start with a strong reference image, Use a front-facing shot of your character. If clothing consistency isn't important, a close-up portrait works well. Otherwise, go for a full-body image. Keep outfits simple. If you want mid-journey to replicate clothing consistently, avoid overly detailed or intricate designs. It struggles with complexity. Use matching backgrounds. When character images have drastically different backgrounds, it can cause issues during generation. Always include detailed character descriptions in your prompts, especially for human characters. Mention hairstyle and texture, skin tone or race, facial features and clothing. This helps reinforce consistency. Experiment with Omni Weight. I found the best results using values between 100 and 400. It often takes some trial and error to find the sweet spot. Try combining image reference with Omni reference. This can help reinforce consistency even more. Just be sure to experiment with different image weights to avoid locking in unwanted poses or expressions. Prompting matters. For example, when using a composite reference image, describing how the characters interact can help mid-journey treat them as part of the same scene. More than three characters can be problematic. Once you go beyond three, consistency tends to break down. At the end of the day, consistency isn't guaranteed. You have to work within mid-journey's capabilities, and sometimes, if a character just isn't generating well, the best option is to pivot and choose a different one that the model can represent more reliably, or use a different image generator. So, have you tried creating multiple consistent characters in mid-journey yet? If you have, I'd love to hear what your experience was like, what worked for you, and what didn't. If you found this helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and drop a comment, it really helps me out. Thank you for watching.